Hello, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Today, let's take a look at the Tyler, the Creator and Louis Vuitton collection that will be releasing. I think it's going to be known as the Creator Collection. When I first saw this, when I first got the lookbook of this sent to me, I was like a child on Christmas morning. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, how many bits can I get? I want them all. I want too many. But I think I got really carried away on the belief in my mind that this was the multicolor collection and almost like a re-release of the multicolor collection and I'm talking Marc Jacobs era multicolor collection and a chance and an opportunity to buy pieces from the multicolor collection that I couldn't afford whenever that was released and that they were almost re-releasing them. So it took me to calm down a moment and breathe because I'm working on my impulsivity and I'm working on how I would see things and go, ooh, me likey, get me six, get me three, get me that one and this one and that one and that one and trying to calm down a little bit and think about it and not just buy it on impulse and not just buy it on FOMO or without really looking at it or just, oh, I want it, buy it and not thinking through, is that gonna fit into my wardrobe? Am I going to wear that? Am I actually going to get used out of that? And I have no doubt going forward, I'm still going to make mistakes. I'm putting my hands up and admitting that right now, before someone reminds me in the future. But I'm trying to limit those by being a bit more intentional and thoughtful. So I didn't automatically reply and go, get me six of those. And I want this one and that one. And I took time to think about it and actually look at it. And when I actually look at this collection. I don't know if I love it as much as I thought I was going to love it. Now, I could see this in person and by eating my words again, because I love dogs. <laughs> that is not a reason to buy Tyler the Creator's collection with Louis Vuitton, but there's dogs on them all. And I know I'm going to be drawn to that. I know I will. And that sounds silly, but my mind is silly sometimes. I do love the colours. I love the painting of the colours on it. I love the fact that it's almost freehand and that's how it's been designed. I, I do really, really like it. I just don't know if I like it as much as I did when I first saw it. The ones, let me tell you what it was that I was most obsessed with whenever I first saw this and what I thought I was going to be wanting to jump on and buy. One was the Keepall Bandelier 25. It's the small Keepall crossbody bag that's in the men's collection. And this has been released in some fabulous, fabulous editions. I think I'm still waiting on the right one. I really like it. I think it's a version of a potential like a Nano Speedy that I'm really, really going to like. They released this in a bright orange a couple of years ago and I tried it on a few times and I was very close to buying the bright orange when I was still looking for my bright orange bag. I now have my little Nano Alma in a beautiful color. When I tried on the Keep Ball, the Mini 25 one, there was something just not right about it and I tried it on a few times. I will link the vlog. It was in a Paris shopping vlog that I tried this on and I was very tempted. I do think that they will bring one of these out that's the right one. I don't think it's this one, even though when I first saw the lookbook, I thought it was. I think whenever I actually really look at it, it's very brown. I, I know, it sounds ridiculous. I love monogram canvas, but I don't really love brown bags, but I do love the monogram canvas. But in this, I don't know. I I just don't know. I don't know if I would love this enough. I do love the little bits of pink on it, but it is the one that I was firstly looking at and it is $2,600, I believe, or 2,100 euro. I also really liked the envelope messenger bag, but I really liked it in the white version. So there is a version of this that is coming with the brown and all of the colors painted on the brown. And then there's also options coming with a white base. And I really liked the white version in the envelope bag. Now in the brown version, it's a bigger bag. It's an envelope messenger type bag. In the white version, it's called the envelope wearable wallet. So I'm guessing something like a walk, although obviously I haven't seen this yet because it hasn't been released at the time of filming. 
The wearable wallet in the white is $2,230 or 1,800 euro. I quite like the white with the color, the way it's been done. And that's conversely to the monogram collection that I was talking about from old. I much preferred the black monogram collection than the white, but I really do like this messenger envelope type bag with the white base and another one that I absolutely was like, oh, give me, give me, was the men's soft trunk, the mini soft trunk. This is also with the white background and has the colors on it. And I will put pictures of, pictures of these in, sorry. The mini soft trunk is $3,550 or 2,850 euro. I think the soft trunk is cool. I can, imagine styling it. I can imagine wearing it. I don't know though if I'm getting caught up in the fact that it's colourful and it's kind of like multicolour and there's colours on the monogram which I really like. I kind of wonder if I'm getting caught up in that craze and I don't love the bag as much as I think I love the bag and that in itself should be a warning. That should be speaking to my brain and saying, no, 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 no. You're getting FOMO, you're getting caught up in this, you're getting caught up in the hype. So I haven't yet pre-ordered anything. I haven't asked anything to be reserved or sent to me. I, I, I nearly did. When the lookbook was first sent, I was very tempted and I nearly sent that out, but I didn't. Quite proud of myself for that. We're evolving, Amelia. But those are probably my favourites in it. It does also come in the bum bag, which I think will probably be a popular option because bum bags for Louis Vuitton are strong. The bum bag in the brown background is $2,350 or 1,900 euro. That's a bit more expensive than the other bum bag, which is about to be released but obviously this is a limited edition collection and it's a collaboration, so you would expect the prices to be that little bit higher. There's, oh, the little doggy bag. I'm going to show you this just because it's cute. This is called the Dog On Strap. According to my essay, it's going to be very, very limited and it's going to be $2,350 or 1,900 euro. I'm not buying it. I love dogs, but I'm not buying it. I don't. I don't have it in me <laughs> to buy it when I know I'm only buying it because it's a dog and it's still going to be about £1,700. Uh, no, I'm not buying it, but I think it's very, very cute. There's also the Pochette Voyage, which is like the toiletries, the bigger version of the toiletries, the men version. It is $1,400 or 11, 1,130 euro. Again, I'm calming down on this. I, I did think whenever this was first released, oh, Amelia, we're in trouble. I sent it to Bestie and he said, no, don't do that. Don't do that. Why are you doing that? Don't do that. So his immediate response was, no, don't be, don't be jumping on that. I think I'm at a real risk when there's anything that's multicolored or colorful that my brain doesn't engage right away and my initial response is to buy it because it's different and it's colourful. And I'm trying to calm down on that because I think that has the potential for me to make a lot of mistakes and to buy things that will sit here just because they're colourful. I think that's what happened with the yellow Dior saddlebag. I loved the colour and I just bought it. And then we all know that I didn't wear that bag. And I'm trying, trying not to repeat that quite so often at these prices, but I'm quite proud that I set back on this one. I, I, I need to see it in person though. I, it's one that I could see in my in person and then decide, oh, I like you. If I see it in person and the colors on the canvas are more vibrant than what they look in the marketing material, I could be at risk of buying some of it. In the material, they look to be not pale, but not strong and vibrant against the brown. If in real life they are a little bit stronger and more vibrant, I might, I might add 
something and the ones that would be the top contenders would be the bandolier which is the men's version of the nano speedy but it's the 25 size in the keep ball bandolier so it's not tiny obviously being in the men's line the envelope messenger or the envelope walk effectively in the white or the soft trunk in the white those are probably my favorites there is also an envelope pouch which is a bit I think going to be like a, a phone bag so it's like going to be this sort of shape and it's going to be one of the phone pouches I think that's probably how that's going to be worn it is how much is it 1610 euro or 13 oh sorry 1610 dollars or 1300 euro it does look to have a detachable strap which is adjustable I don't think I'll be buying that one but it is an option to get the look at a smaller size bag which obviously carries less of a price tag. That is my thoughts on the multicolour. It then also comes in the green. And some of the marketing material has had golf clubs covered in the green version which looks a bit like a Damira Bean background. I don't love this but I don't love this because I don't love the shade of green. It's not a colour that's going to draw me and I think it's one I'm probably safe on. What do you think of this collab? Are there any of the pieces that you're dying to get and add to your collection or do you think it's been a bit of a letdown or are you jumping on the pre-order? Let us know in the comment box. I love to know your thoughts. Thank you for watching this. If it has been in any way enjoyable or informative, please do consider giving it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, please do consider subscribing. And if you're not done with me yet, I'm going to leave another video for you on the screen to enjoy. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching me. Please take care and I will see you again in the next one.